Hello there sports gamers, I'm Brandon Satterwhite and we are just about a week away from the early access release of MLB The Show 22 and San Diego Studios just hosted another feature premiere live stream on their Twitch and YouTube channels, this time discussing additions and changes to the road to the show and the ball player system and we have all the updates for you here, let's get into the video. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. So this live stream was a little bit shorter than the others as it was only about a half an hour long. And it began with the team talking about the Road to the Show narrative portions. These are those video podcast segments that show up throughout different points in your player's career discussing his play. Several new faces are slated to be showing up during these videos this season. First, former AL MVP and two-time MLB The Show cover athlete Joe Maurer, who has just joined the game as a legend in Diamond Dynasty will be joining the rotation of Ben Gelman's guests on the Road to the Show podcast. Also, Rachel Balkovic will also be a recurring guest throughout a player's experience. Balkovic is currently the manager of the Tampa Tarpons, a Class A minor league affiliate of the New York Yankees. Finally, Kellen Lee, a mental skills coach for the San Francisco Giants, will be brought on from time to time to discuss the mental health struggles that can go along with a player trying to work their way up through the minors. Along with the new faces, several people from last year's video segments will be returning this year, such as MLB Network's Robert Flores and Lauren Shahadi, Carlos Pena, and the kid himself, King Griffey Jr., to name a few. The second half of the live stream discussed features and additions for Road to the Show and the Ball Player System. Tony Morton, Game Systems Designer for SDS, said that it was the feedback from the community on last year's implementation of the Ball Player System that really drove their focus for MLB The Show 22. The first big change that they made is that players can now have multiple ball players. You'll be able to manage up to 10 different ball players in MLB The Show 22, each with different appearances, positions, ratings, and so on. When you go to create your ball player now, you get to choose between being a pitcher, a position player, or a two-way player. This is another big improvement over last year where players were forced to start as two-way players, even though you could very quickly choose to only be a pitcher or a position player. From here, players will choose which archetype they want to use, these are similar to the ones we've seen in years past, but there is a new pitching archetype called Nuxy, which has been introduced for those who want to drive batters crazy with a knuckleball like Tim Wakefield. However, ball players with this archetype will not be allowed in online PvP. SDS made it very clear during the live stream that there would be no knuckleball use in online play. Players that play as pitchers will now be able to change their pitches in between games. Each pitch will track progression individually, so if you drop a pitch from your arsenal for a little bit, the attributes on that pitch will be the same when you add it back in. SDS has adjusted the progression system for Road to the Show. Last year, there were both Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty goals that you had to complete in order to progress your ball player. This year, all ball player missions will be inside Road to the Show. Players are no longer forced to play Diamond Dynasty to make their players better, which is a great improvement. This is a huge victory for fans of Road to the Show. These goals will progress the player's program similar to last year. Morton also said that the progression would be much faster and more rewarding this year. Another great improvement. Another change is now players will receive items from multiple archetypes for completing their programs. Last year, if you wanted to switch archetypes, you basically had to start over with your player, but now you'll be free to experiment and move your items around a little more freely. The equipment and perk system has also returned to MLB The Show 22. New dynamic perks have been added that are similar to the personality perks from previous MLB The Show titles in Road to the Show, and also similar to the ones that we see in the showdown mode in Diamond Dynasty. For example, the new jumpstart perk gives a player significant contact boost on the first two pitches of an at-bat. The perks from last year that just gave attribute upgrades have also returned, and this new system will give players plenty of options when creating their player. However, the thing about the equipment and archetype system is that some players feel it hurts the replayability of the mode. If you decide to start a brand new Road to the Show save file after you've already grinded on one for a while, you're going to start your new save file with all of the equipment, perks, and archetype items that you've already unlocked. Now, this is a good thing that you only have to unlock items once. However, some players feel it ruins the grind of the mode when you start as an 80 plus overall in the minor leagues. Some prefer the old XP system, where the rating of your player was based solely on gameplay. However, with equipment, perks, and archetype items all being sold in the marketplace for stubs, which can be bought with real money, I don't see this changing anytime soon. Perhaps SDS could add a new game plus option in the future to the show. 
this could serve as a happy medium between those who want to replay the grind and those who want to keep the items they've already unlocked. The stream wrap up with Morton ensuring that all ball player items got a balance tuning for this year. This will be very important for those players that want to carry their ball player over into Diamond Dynasty. And then as always, SDS introduced a new legend into the game. This time it was World Series champion and three-time All-Star closing pitcher Brian Wilson. MLB The Show is available April 5th for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and for the first time ever, the Nintendo Switch. For more MLB The Show 22 news and updates, stay tuned to Sports Gamers Online. I'm Brandon Satterwhite with SGO. Thank you for watching.